So I'm starting a new section today. I'm going to talk about 11.3, which is about the integral test. So before I get too far into this, what I wanted to do is I wanted to recap some of the things I've kind of mentioned to you at least once. So one thing I've, I know I've said before is that in general, it is difficult to find the sum the sum of a series. We've only seen two examples where you can find the sum, and those two were for geometric series. We have a formula for the sum if it, of a series if it converges, and we also saw that we could find the sum of a telescoping series. So really those are the only two times that you can explicitly find the sum. And so because of this, our question is gonna change a little bit. Now we're only gonna focus on whether or not a series converges or diverges. We're not gonna find the sum anymore. So we only focus on whether a series converges or diverges from here on out. We're not really gonna talk about finding the sum anymore. So this is gonna feel kind of similar to when we did integrals. When we integrated things, we had to learn a bunch of techniques, right? In order to learn how to integrate, we did um, integration by parts, we did partial fractions, we did um, other things that I can't think of right now. So uh, the same thing kind of here, we're gonna learn instead of methods, it's gonna be tests, okay? So we are going to establish several tests to determine if a series converges or diverges. Okay. Without without finding the sum. So we've actually already seen this. Last time we talked about the <clears throat> divergence test. That was one test that told us that a series diverged. Okay. 